Velvet Buzzsaw is a 2019 Netflix movie. It's kind of a thriller, kind of a horror, kind of a dark comedy. This one is written and directed by this guy, Dan Gilroy, who did the fantastic 2014 film Nightcrawler with Jake Gyllenhaal, where Jake Gyllenhaal is like a paparazzi guy in Los Angeles, and he is trying to film these horrible accidents and selling them to the news stations. So uh, those two are teaming up again for this movie, and uh, I, that's why I was really excited for it. I thought the trailer looked really cool. I thought the story sounded interesting. So the story in this is about this uh, art critic, Jake Gyllenhaal, and we sort of follow his life, and we are seeing this high-end art world, and then eventually there's this mysterious painter with a series of paintings, and uh, everybody sort of gets really hyped for these paintings, and they start selling really well, but then the paintings are actually evil and start killing people. So... Uh, the cast in this film is fantastic. Like, there is a very good ensemble cast in this. Jake Gyllenhaal is fantastic as this art critic. He has such a very dry delivery. He's very pompous. He has such great quotable lines in this movie that are just so funny and uh, so interesting. Critique is so limiting and emotionally draining. No originality. No courage. My opinion. So yeah, I love Jake Gyllenhaal in this and the writing for his character. We have John Malkovich in this as this other artist who used to be really big and popular when he was used to be an alcoholic, but now that he's not on the alcohol anymore, his artwork is kind of suffering. Uh, we have uh, Rene Russo and Tony Collette as these women in this art world. One owns a gallery, one is like working for this rich person buying paintings. So really good performances there. We got some relative newcomers I really liked in this movie. So we have Natalie Dyer and and she was in the TV show Stranger Things. You might recognize her. We have this other guy, Davey Diggs. He was in the fantastic movie Blind Spotting last year, which sort of, which is sort of like a hidden gem movie. That was one of my uh, favorite kind of underlooked movies of last year. So we have just this great cast in this, and that is one of my main pros of this movie. I still like the performances of everybody in this, right? So my other pros were that uh, I like the dark comedy aspects of this movie and kind of satirizing this high-end art world, which is a very crazy, very weird world filled with all these eccentric characters. So just really fun exploring this world and getting this kind of behind-the-scenes look of what it's like like to be in this high-end art world and uh, what it is like to sell these these pieces of art that sell for millions of dollars right um i thought this movie was very ambitious with its plot and uh the direction of the story so i do have to give credit for that this is a very unique story right I've never seen anything like this the cinematography is also really on point looks really great looks really fantastic so i really did like that now on to my negatives is that uh, while the first half of the movie I really liked the exploration of this art world and these kooky characters is in it, but the back half of the movie where the twist starts happening and the paintings start killing people, that is where the movie started to lose me and I really don't think it explained all that very well or handled it and as you got to the end of the movie it didn't really earn its ending it didn't really earn that explanation of these paintings that are killing people and it just comes off as kind of this bizarre direction for the movie and uh it really kind of doesn't mesh the whole plot together or tie it up that well and it kind of just seems very messy and convoluted and kind of dumb and this is not really a good direction for the movie so i left feeling very disappointed and kind of like what did i just watch so uh so i did not really like this movie um i still kind of you know i i like the cinematography i love jake gyllenhaal and the quotable lines but overall this movie left me feeling very disappointed and not enjoying it so i'm gonna give this one a 5.5 out of 10.